Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at a cheeky little technique and that is dividing by fractions. So the video after this we'll have a look at dividing of fractions by whole numbers. In this video we are purely looking at how to divide by a fraction. So let's get going. Okay, so before we get going on any examples, I better throw the algebra at you. So say that we wanted to do A over B divided by C over D. Now that might look quite scary, especially as there's algebra involved. Now when we divide by fractions, all we do is flip the second guy over, uh, and then that gives us what's called the reciprocal. If you've heard about reciprocals, yep. All that a reciprocal means is one divided by your number. So if you take the reciprocal of a fraction, you're just flipping the top and bottom around. So we find the reciprocal of the fraction we're dividing by, and then it just becomes a multiplication. So we then do a over b times d over c, and that will give us a d over b c. So, as always, the algebra probably makes it look a bit more complicated than it actually is. So let's kick it in. Okay, so question one. We want to do one divided by one half. Now, Going by the rules that we just set out, what we're going to do is flip over one half and then it becomes a multiplication. So we get one times two over one. Now well, two over one is just two. So we've got one times two and that's given us two. Now this is a nice example to use to explain why we flip the fraction over and it becomes a multiplication. So imagine we're talking about halves of a pizza and a whole pizza. So if we start off with our whole pizza, then <clears throat> if we divide it by a half, then we are asking how many one halves are in one whole pizza, which we know if we draw a line down the middle, we've got one half on the left and one half on the right. So Remember that divisions are asking how many of this thing are there in that thing. So we've asked how many one halves are there in a whole pizza. We can show that nicely with a drawing. There are clearly two one halves in one whole pizza. Cool. Okay, three divided by two thirds. Well, for that, we're going to do three times uh, three over two. Now when you multiply a whole number by a fraction, all that happens here is the whole number multiplies the top of the fraction. So we're going to get 3 times 3, which is 9, over 2. So 3 times 3 halves is 9 halves, which is 3 divided by 2 thirds. Cool. 4 divided by 3 fifths. Well, that's going to become 4 times 5 over 3. Again, we just multiply the top of the fraction by the whole number. So 4 times 5 is 20. And then we can have the 3 on the bottom. Now, these some, these can be written uh, or changed into uh, mixed numbers. So let's also do that because it's good practice. So 20 thirds is the same as 6 and 2 thirds. If your mixed numbers are at all rusty, there will be a video on that, so check that out. Okay, moving on. 10 divided by 4 fifths. Well, that's going to become 10 times 5 quarters. Now, 10 times 5 is 50, so we're going to get 50 quarters. Now, that again can be written as a mixed number. Before we do that, though, we can simplify the fraction. We've got a common factor on the top and bottom of 2. So we could write that as 25 halves. So that's what the answer would be as an improper fraction. As a mixed number, that's going to be 12 and a half. Cool. Okay, 7 divided by 5 ninths. Well, that's going to become 7 times 9 fifths which will give us 63 over 5. Okay, so that's the answer as an improper fraction. 
If we want to turn that into a mixed number, then we've got 12 and 3 fifths. Jobs are good. Em. Okay, now we're going to take a look at dividing fractions by fractions. Now it doesn't get any more complicated, to be honest. So we want to do one half divided by one third. Again, the rules are exactly the same. We flip this boy over and it becomes a multiplication. So we're going to have one half times three over one. Now when you're multiplying fractions, you do the top times the top. So one times three is three. And then the bottom times the bottom. Two times one is two. So as an improper fraction, our answer is three halves. As a mixed number, it would be one and one half. Jobs are good. Okay, two fifths divided by three quarters. So that's going to become two fifths times four thirds. And again, by multiplying fractions, we get two times four on top is 8 and then 5 times 3 on the bottom 15 8 15 so that's a nice normal fraction it can't be written as a mixed number cool okay 9 tenths divided by 3 sevenths so that's going to be 9 tenths times 7 thirds like that Okay, so then up on top, we're going to get 63 over 30. Uh, so we've got an improper fraction. Good news is, though, it can be simplified down. We've got a common factor here of 3. So if we divide that out, we've got 21 tenths. And as a mixed number, that is 2 and 1 tenth. Jobs are good, em. Okay, five quarters divided by a third. That's going to become five quarters times three. Now, it will just be five quarters times three, but if you like to keep that one in there, we can happily whack a one on the bottom. Three over one is exactly the same as just three. So five times three on top, 15. Four times one on the bottom, four. Now, 15 fourths, 15 quarters, can be written as a mixed number as three and three quarters. Jobs are good. Em. Okay, the last one. 19 twentieths divided by three fifths. So that is going to become 19 twentieths times five over three. Now up on the top, 19 times five is 95. And on the bottom, 20 times three is 16. Now that's our answer as an improper fraction however it can be simplified down so we've got a common factor of 5 so 95 divided by 5 uh, goes back to being 19 and 60 divided by 5 gives us 12 on the bottom so 19 twelfths is our answer as an improper fraction as a mixed number, we have 1 and a 7 twelfths. Okay, guys, so that's how we divide by fractions. As I say, in the next video, we'll have a little look at dividing fractions by whole numbers. These are the little questions that I get asked about a lot. So, hope this has helped. Was this video helpful? If so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment letting me know how you get on. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any videos. For any further information, you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. Search for Maths with Mouth. Cheers, guys.